Question 5. In a survey, the IQ scores of 1,200 people were recorded. The mean score was 100 points and the standard deviation was 15 points. Assuming that IQ scores are normally distributed, the data are shown on the diagram. Firstly, we must fill in the missing numbers on the horizontal axis. We are told that the data is normally distributed. When it comes to normal distributions, there's some conventions with the labelling. The middle mark is labelled with the mean and the standard deviation gives the jump between marks. We are told that the mean score was 100 points. So the middle mark should be labelled with 100. In our diagram, we were given the label of the mark before the middle one. It's 85. To get from 85 to 100, we must add 15. So the jump between marks is plus 15. It's not a coincidence that our standard deviation is also equal to 15. As mentioned earlier, it's conventional that the standard deviation gives a jump between marks. Now that we know the jump is 15, we can fill in the remaining labels. 100 plus 15 is 115. 115 plus 15 is 130. And 130 plus 15 is 145. On the other side, 85 minus 15 is 70. And 70 minus 15 is 55. Part II. A person is chosen at random from those surveyed. Use the empirical rule to find the probability that this person has an IQ score between 70 and 130 points. We are asked to use the empirical rule, so let's remind ourselves of what this is. It states that 68% of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% of the data is within two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7% of the data is within three standard deviations of the mean. In our question, we are interested in IQ scores between 70 and 130. Remember, our mean is 100 and our standard deviation is 15. 70 is two standard deviations to the left of the mean. 130 is two standard deviations to the right of the mean. So 70 to 130 corresponds to the region of data which is within two standard deviations of the mean. From our empirical rule, we know that 95% of the data lies in this interval. So our answer here is 95%. Part III. Use the empirical rule to find the approximate number of people surveyed with an IQ score of between 85 and 115 points. An IQ score between 85 and 115 corresponds to the shaded region in our diagram. Our mean is 100 and our standard deviation is 15. 
85 is one standard deviation to the left of the mean, and 115 is one standard deviation to the right of the mean. So the region of interest corresponds to the data which is within one standard deviation of the mean. Using our empirical rule, we know that there's a 68% chance that a person falls in this range. So, each individual person we surveyed has a 68% chance to have an IQ score between 85 and 115. We surveyed 1,200 people. And of these people surveyed, we'd expect 68% of them to have an IQ score between 85 and 115. To find the expected number of people, all we have to do is multiply 1,200 by 68%. Some calculators can struggle with the percentage symbol, so it will be useful to convert the 68% to a decimal. To do this, all we have to do is divide by 100. So 68% is equal to 0 0.68 as a decimal. Using our calculator, we see that 1200 times 0 0.68 is equal to 816. So our final answer here is that we expect 816 people to have an IQ score between 85 and 115. Part B. A class of 24 pupils is made up of 10 boys and 14 girls. Chemistry is studied by six of the boys and nine of the girls. A pupil is chosen at random from the class. Find the probability that the pupil chosen is a boy or is a pupil who does not study chemistry. Given a student in this class, there's two questions we're concerned with. Firstly, is the student a boy or a girl? And secondly, do they study chemistry or do they not study chemistry? It will be useful to draw a table and split up the students based on these two questions. We are told that chemistry is studied by six of the boys. So in the intersection of boys and study chemistry, I'll write a six. We know that chemistry is studied by nine of the girls. So in the intersection of girls and study chemistry, I'll write a nine. Now, we're told that there are 10 boys in the class. We know that six study chemistry, so the remaining four must not study chemistry. So I'll write a four in the intersection of boys and do not study chemistry. We know that there's 14 girls in the class and nine of them study chemistry. The remaining five must not study chemistry. So I'll write a five in the intersection of girls and do not study chemistry. We need to find the probability that a randomly chosen pupil is a boy or does not study chemistry. Well, we can use our table to count up how many students are in this category. We'll want to include everyone who is a boy and also everyone who does not study chemistry. In total, we have 6 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15 students who are boys or 
do not study chemistry. We know that the class has 24 pupils in total. 15 of these are boys or do not study chemistry. So the probability we select one of these is 15 out of 24, which written as a fraction is 15 over 24. 